One of the nation's oldest housing projects belongs to Omaha, but Southside Terrace is taking a step toward redevelopment. Well, the first phase of construction starts, starts around New Year, and that's thanks to a $50 million grant from the Department of Housing and Urban Development. The rebranded property will offer affordable mixed rate units together. Alex McClune shows us the first phase of a long awaited transformation. The Omaha Housing Authority plans to raise two buildings and make use of this green space in order to build a four story 92 unit apartment building. The first of four or five phases redeveloping Southside Terrace. When you have different income structures living in that same community, it welcomes different business types. It welcomes different recreation options. 14 households occupy 16 units between these two buildings. The people inside are in the process of receiving temporary housing. Relocation for every household can look different and for some um, one move can be permanent or we can look at a temporary relocation and then a permanent move back. In the new building, 68 of the 92 units are replacement units for residents who want to move back in. The rest will be market rate units. City officials crossing T's and dotting I's say feedback from residents will enhance the proposed building. Other principles that we included, access to daylight, um, access to open space, fresh air, so we're incorporating balconies. We have some very large units that we're planning for. City planners expect new branding for the area, which will be mostly owned by Brinshore and the Omaha Housing Authority and managed by a third party. I think the mixed income component really is a game changer for this community and really any community that's undertaking transformation of what's traditionally been um, concentrated poverty. The rest of the project incorporates affordable and market rate housing with homes and duplexes planning to deliver 500 units by the end of June 2025. An aggressive timeline for a complex built in the 1940s. Alex McLoon, KETV News Watch 7.